see what this sister talking about, man. What's up? What's on your mind, sister? So when I was in Kenya, yeah. I wondered like why mm. the world looked like it was only made up of Europeans okay. and the world looked like it belongs only to white people. I felt very distant from life. I felt like something was missing. Okay. So I noticed that our products at home were made from Japan. So I was like, wow, there's like another human race that doesn't speak English mm -hmm. and still is doing it in life, is making it. So I want to find out about the Japanese people. So that's when my interest started. And then I was like, I'm going to go to Japan. It's a country that's powerful and it doesn't speak English. Mm -hmm. So that means there was life beyond the white narrative, okay. the white supremacy narrative. So that's mm -hmm. why I came to Japan. So when I Yikes. Everything was about white people. Like, damn, you're a black person. You went to Japan and you talk the whole time about white people. Watch out, Japan. <laughs> a mob of thugs chase a white woman down the street, even throwing bottles at her as she makes an escape. If, I'm glad that this happened to a white woman and not a black woman by some white people. If this was the other way around, God, my Lord. Oh, she got the ratchet out. Okay. Now, should I start flocking this leg? Took her back. I took her back. <laughs> Start start flagging his legs. Like everybody move. Come on over here. Come on over here. Not one over here. We got you. Come on over here. Don't want to work. Get a pop. 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 Get will be asked, why didn't you help her? Why didn't you help her? If this if this was racially reversed, every man who was there would be called into question for not helping that sister. Oh, she got the ratchet out. Okay. Now, should I start flocking his leg? <laughs> should I start flocking his leg? It's like everybody move. No one over here. No one over here. There's not one over here. We got you. No one over here. No one over here. Get a pop. Get a pop. Get There's nothing wrong with supporting black business. It's just not going to solve the problem of poverty and inequality and wealth. I tried to deal with this a little bit. I mean, but the short version is black businesses target black people. Black people don't have any money. From 1992 to 2012, black people created 2 million plus businesses and captured went, the capture of the national sales revenue went down from a paltry 1% to like 0.3. Wow. So black people start businesses and black customers still buy from white brands. Black business owners start businesses and marry white women. Press one. Wealthy black men marry white women and then die, and then pass the money on to a white woman.
black people now taking 0.3% of the revenue spent by black people. There's nothing wrong with supporting black business. It's just not going to solve the problem of poverty and inequality and wealth. I tried to deal with this a little bit. I mean, but the short version is black businesses target black people. Black people don't have any money. From 1992 to 2012, black people created 2 million plus businesses and captured went, the capture of the national sales revenue went down from a paltry 1% to like 0.3%. The point is that black people can't create businesses in the sectors of the economy that generate real wealth. And why is this, sir? Oh, yeah, never mind racism. Never mind racism. Why even ask? Of course, the reason is racism. Why even ask? Of course, the reason is racism. Hit the like button. Hit the like button. We're going for 300 likes tonight, man. 300 likes tonight. This is shocking, man. And it's shocking. It's embarrassing. It's like, why is this guy not embarrassed saying this? Oh, yeah, because he can blame it on racism. Because if you couldn't blame this on some overarching boogeyman like racism this would be humiliating stats you notice how black people are very proud and braggadocious except for when it comes to shit like this because they know they can blame it on white people and it really has the reverse effect so a people that are very braggadocious and proud and talk a lot of shit and claim a lot of accomplishments to read a Read statistics like this would normally be embarrassing. But when you can blame it on racism, it's actually a plus because you can say, look at how bad they do on us. That us, the, 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 the pyramid builders, we only capture 0.3% of our dollar in black businesses. The other 99.7% goes to other communities. That's look at how bad the white man's doing us. Like that's really bad. Like the white man is fucking us royally. Cuz without that dynamic, this is embarrassing to say. There's nothing wrong with supporting black business. It's just not going to solve the problem of poverty and inequality and wealth. I tried to deal with this a little bit. I mean, but the short version is black businesses target black people. Black people don't have any money. From 1992 to 2012, black people created 2 million plus businesses and captured went, the capture of the national sales revenue went down from a paltry 1% to like 0.3%. The point is that black people can't create businesses in the sectors of the economy that generate real wealth. Black businesses don't have enough to hire many people. They don't have benefits. They're not paying people. In fact, most black businesses pay people below the average national salary. There's nothing wrong with supporting black. Wow. Black businesses don't have enough to hire many people. They don't have benefits. They're not paying people. In fact, most black businesses pay people below the average national salary. Jesus Christ. So we got to deal with all that. And then we got to deal with this, man. And this explains almost every crime in Blackistan, man. Except for the few. Except for a few, man. That, that black people actually do. But most of the crime in Blackistan is actually done by people like this. The drive-bys, the armed robberies, the home invasions. This is actually the people who are doing it. White man, black bank robber, same person. A Florida man has pleaded guilty to committing a string of robberies with the help of an elaborate disguise. At least six banks were robbed of a total of $15,000 in the Ohio area earlier this year. Five of the banks were robbed on a single day in April. Witnesses said the suspect was a black man and surveillance video backed up the reports until police officers got a tip. 
Officers searched an Ohio hotel and found an exploded dye pack from one of the banks inside a vehicle. They arrested 30-year-old Conrad Zaderek, a white man who clearly does not resemble the black man witnesses had seen. During the robberies, he wore a high-quality mask to cover his skin, using the hood of his sweatshirt to cover his hair. He had a whole new identity. Investigators say it was the best disguise they've ever seen. Zaderek, who is not a U.S. citizen, faces up to 35 years in prison and deportation at the end of his prison term. Diane Kepley, The Associated Press. White man, black bank robber, same person? You see, because... We are peaceful people, man. We are peaceful people, man. In 2024, next year, I'm about to be so much better. That text responded to, that email answered, that project finished, that other project started, that book read, that nigga dealt with, that problem, not mine. Cheers to a much better 2024. You can't be pro-black and be homophobic. You can't be pro- Wow. I'm glad I ain't pro-black. You can't be pro-black and be homophobic. You can't be pro black Whoa, okay. and be transphobic. Why not? Why not? You can't be pro or misogynistic. Or man, misogynistic. You can't be pro black and be misogynistic. It and a lot of those pro black, uh, those pro black spaces. Explain why. Because though. there are black LGBT. There are black yes. trans. There are black gays. There but are why black... does why is that always tied to blackness though? It's because gay people know, in every no, no, no. ethnicity. Yeah, right. Yeah, it's it's hold on. You, you, it's you, you, no, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. You, you, you're not gay. Y'all are not gay. That's y'all can't you. I'm asking okay. you genuinely. Don't say like, it's dramatized. Why? It's not dramatized. Then white people in, embrace their gay kids. The black community kicks their kids out the house as soon as they found out they're gay. It's not dramatized. This is based in facts and reality. And you don't you think that say, happens in the, in just, the white community? Right? You, not, 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 as, not, as not as often. Not as often as the black community. And for you to say it's dramatized invalidates the reality of the black LGBTQ population. Well, that's the opinion that take. That's the that's opinion. The, that's the opinion. But, but that's the opinion of you, but you're not black. You're not, you're gay. not gay. Maybe I would just have a different understanding of it. Because when I always heard pro black, it was linked to the color and it was linked to nothing else. Right. And and, and they, the they color, link it, they link it in that way. But if you look at the reality of it, they don't fuck with the gays, they, they don't, don't fuck with the trans, they and they really don't fuck women. with women. They don't respect, they don't respect the, women. the women they at don't respect all. The women. But, so, black people don't respect but, their women. No, no.